The spiritual legacy of St. Clair, faith, love, and sacrifice. On Palm Sunday in 1211, the peaceful night in Assisi was interrupted by the determined footsteps of 18-year-old Claire. Driven by a divine call to a life of service and poverty, she fled her beloved wealthy family. This bold decision was set in motion seven years earlier when she witnessed Francis of Assisi renounce his father's wealth and embrace poverty. Inspired by his example, Claire sought to follow in his footsteps. That night, Francis awaited her at the Porzancola. Claire cut her beautiful long hair, donned a coarse wool tunic, and found refuge in the Benedictine Monastery of St. Paul at Bastia Umbra. Despite her father's many attempts to bring her back to a life of luxury, Claire steadfastly chose poverty and service to God and her neighbors. Please like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you, and God bless you. Soon, Claire's radiant faith attracted many women, including her mother and sisters. They became known as the Poor Ladies or Poor Sisters, living in the restored monastery of San Damiano. It was here that Francis had once received the divine call to repair my house. Claire and her sisters supported the friar's mission through constant prayer, embodying the spirit of communal devotion and sacrifice. This commitment to poverty and service echoes the words of Matthew 19, 21. If you want to be perfect, go, sell your possessions and give to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven. Then come, follow me. Claire and her sisters embraced poverty to gain eternal riches. Claire's determination led her to become the first woman to write a rule for her order, which was approved by Gregory IX and later enshrined by Innocent IV in 1253. This rule allowed Claire and her sisters to fully observe the gospel. Despite suffering from illness for the last 30 years of her life, Claire's devotion to prayer and the Eucharist never waned. In 1240, Saracen soldiers stormed the convent cloister of San Damiano in Assisi, where St. Clair and her sisters lived. The nuns were terrified. St. Clair prostrated herself before the Lord and prayed for the safety of her sisters. Then, with complete trust in God, she brought out the monstrance with the blessed sacrament and faced the Saracens. Miraculously, they were struck with fear and retreated, leaving Assisi untouched. This moment of prayer and trust in God affirmed Christ's true presence in the Eucharist, providing Claire with spiritual sustenance through her devotion to Christ. On a Christmas night, bedridden and in prayer, Claire experienced a miraculous vision of the rites at the Porzancola, which appeared on the wall of her cell. This event later led Pius XII to declare her the patroness of television. Claire passed away on August 11, 1253, on the bare floor of San Damiano. Her last words were a thanksgiving to God. Here are some quotes from St. Clair. We are to become vessels of God's compassionate love for others. Love that does not know of suffering is not worthy of the name. We become what we love and who we love shapes what we become. Do not be disturbed by the clamor of the world, which passes like a shadow. Never forget that the way which leads to heaven is narrow, that the gate leading to life is narrow and low, that there are but few who find it and enter by it. And if there be some who go in and tread the narrow path for some time, there are but very few who persevere therein. Love him totally, who gave himself totally for your love. She was canonized by Alexander IV just two years later. May St. Clair's life continue to inspire, reminding us of the power of faith, sacrifice, and unwavering devotion to God in Jesus' name. Please like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you, and God bless you.